Okay, today we covered challenge groups a little bit more and just the idea of keeping your challengers motivated. Um, I think there's a few good techniques to use to keep people motivated in your challenge groups. Um, the challenge group guides have been revamped, so I think they're a lot more engaging. The, the posts that they suggest are um, a lot more interesting, and they give you great visual content. So they give you all these fun little, um, you know, just like quotes and, and little pictures you can post, um, which you kind of used to have to seek out yourself. So it's it's nice that they give you all a lot of materials. So if you really don't know what to talk about, or you haven't done a program in your while, say you've never done P90X or something, but you really want to run a challenge group, these guys make it really easy for you to have daily material to post, um, even if you haven't actually done the program. But I think a good strategy, um, one, you know, obviously keep active in the group. Make sure you're interacting with people, liking things, commenting on things, tagging people. Um, make sure you're getting in there every day with either the actual suggested post or picture or, you know, make your own variation. It's okay to tweak these groups to whatever you want um, and put your own spin on things, you know, ask your own questions um, to, you know, get a good feel for what the people in the group want. Um, are they, do they want just to check in with the particular program they're doing and they just want that fitness fix or that nutrition guidance or do they want more? Do they, are they looking for deeper connections, deeper friendships? You know, can you guys talk about your families? Can you guys talk about your pets? Your hobbies? Would you do that night? What are your plans for the week? Um, you know, swap stories. It's okay to get people talking about other things. It doesn't have to be a group that's strictly about P90X or T25 and nothing else, you know? You're all people, you all have stuff going on. It's okay to talk about that. Um, you know, thirdly, we've previously mentioned the idea of like a point system. Um, I think keeping people motivated by kind of checking in where people's statuses are, you know, maybe at the end of a week or so and letting people, hey, you know, these are our top three point earners for the week. Remember guys, you get a prize or something at the end. Um, you know, keeping that competition going or that incentive going is, is obviously uh, crucial. Um, Fourthly, you could do um, little activities or sort of challenges or themes. Say, you know, if it lands around a certain holiday, uh, you know, say like you have St. Patrick's Day or Halloween or something as part of your um, program, and you ask people to post a picture and say, hey, show us you doing a move from whatever the program is wearing, you know, your Halloween costume or dressed up as a leprechaun or whatever, you know, try to have these fun little things that they can do that um, make the fitness a bit more fun and interesting and, and hopefully give them a boost of fun and, and encourage them to go outside their comfort zone a little bit and, and be more interactive with things like pictures and videos because that's really what's going to help people build friendships um, and just really see what people respond to and be there for them. If you see people who aren't commenting a lot or interacting a lot, you know, it's okay to reach out to them through private message and just ask what they need, you know. Is there something that more that they'd like or something that they're missing in the group that you can try to provide them with? Because um, ultimately, this group is here to help people succeed and help them get great results and help them feel happy and, and get them to just start being thrilled about this new healthy lifestyle that they're taking charge of. Um, and as your coach, you want to be there to help them. So even though you might have a, a clear idea of how you want to run your group, make sure you're still flexible enough to accommodate people who maybe need different things in that group and see what you can do for those people because we're here to help. That's the bottom line. So make sure that whatever you're doing in your group is helping people have a good time, helping people get results, and helping people stay committed to the program. All right, so that's it. See you later.